So there is this particular natural history event that I had been wanting to capture for over a year and finally that moment came where I would spend about 10 days at Panna Tiger Reserve trying to capture and film crocodile babies in the Kane River Karnavati River as soon as they had hatched. So we began the process you know we went filming we were filming tigers and leopards but this event was a little special I really wanted to experience be across the crock babies in the water and you know just to see them in their natural habitat and every day morning evening we used to go across the beautiful Kane River go towards areas in the banks where we had seen signs of nesting so we scanned the whole area but 10 days <laughs> no crock babies undoubtedly we had the most amazing experiences leopards coming down to drink water and a great amount of biodiversity all across the river amazing anyway i had to uh, leave panna that time i had to go back to filming at taroba days there because the cubs that we were filming at taroba were really coming into their own and a lot of play happening and we were able to record all those hunting activities in taroba and meanwhile i said okay in case the crock babies are seen at panna i can always just go across to panna the schedule at taroba got over i came back to panna and uh, we decided to once again spend about 7 days but this time i only had 7 days of filming because one aspect of natural history film making is that you're tied up to covering natural events which are not in your control so sometimes you tend not to make it for family events or events with friends and i was not able to make it for a couple of such events so this time uh, when there was a reunion with school friends i decided that i will make it because i had already given myself that almost a month of trying to get this shot the whole window was there but i said okay this is the last 7 8 days we have let's check it out and we got great shots of tigers leopards beautiful landscape panna is beautiful you know all across i mean you've seen it in our film mineral forest both our films when we would pass uh, the river i would always ask our trusted boatman shankar and he was really passionate shankar is still very passionate and then he would also go into the river and then he would tell me ki sir abhi tak crocodile babies nahi dekhe hum that is the last evening the next morning i was taking a flight out to meet my friends so that evening we decided to take the boat ride but again that same day we had seen a beautiful uh, female leopard coming down the banks and drinking water and even the resident tigress would come out at a particular time in the evening 5:30 literally precise you know tigers are generally sticklers to time and routine So I took a call ki you know I have been really wanting to shoot the crock babies and I told Shankar one of our jeeps will go towards the tiger and the leopard but I personally would like to uh, you know go in the river so just Shankar and me we went in river and I said okay chalo let me just to check out this last evening and we went in so we scanned the rocky banks on both sides Shankar said ki aisa lag raha hai ki is bar ya to babies hue nahi ya mujhe samajh mein nahi aa raha hai anyway we wait and then i heard that sound i wanted to hear from almost about 50 meters away that little chirping sound crock babies actually chirp and then it made sense seeing you know peacocks in that direction i realized ki there's a good chance ki there could be crock babies there so we took the boat there we checked out the whole area and then we came across this beautiful site and i decided to you know the camera started rolling but then there was the challenge of the boat bobbing up and down because the river waves come towards the banks and there's a little bit more of a upheaval there we angled the boat in a particular way so that it could take in the ups and downs of the river and i also uh, made sure the camera could kind of move slightly this was the shots where we were not able to get the balance right but then once we got the balance right then the shots became much much smoother initially we saw a baby on the rocks but when we got closer we realized it was a juvenile monitor lizard and then when we looked down we saw the beautiful sight so all in all <laughs> it was a culmination of a whole year of waiting and that whole month of up and down between panna and taroba and what an experience as we filmed the croc babies alarm calls rang through just 100 meters from us signs that the tiger or the leopard or both were on the move When we all come to Panna, you all must discover the river front and you know, go across, look at the biodiversity from the river. There's so much here for you to discover. I also take this opportunity to appeal to the Prime Minister of India, the Forest Minister, 
the forest minister of mp the chief minister of mp that this whole ecosystem is very 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 delicate as can be seen a slight shift in weather or even water quality can affect the breeding of species like crocodiles it has taken almost 3 weeks to get these shots and we are lucky we even got them because the babies are scheduled to come almost 3 weeks back and slight shift in weather and pollution level could it could be or it could be water quality as i said could change the breeding cycle and also wipe out the species and we have to look at conservation in a very very holistic way so this whole beautiful ecosystem can be preserved for the next generation of indians and world citizens